This KGW archive footage shows the damage done to the Oregon coast by a tsunami back in 1964. It was the most destructive tsunami to ever hit the United States, the result of a massive earthquake along a fault called a subduction zone. These are faults that can generate not only deadly tsunamis, but magnitude 8 or larger earthquakes. The one we're really concerned about is the big one. Portland State University geology professor Scott Burns has been studying these kinds of faults for decades, specifically one that lies about 50 miles off Oregon and Washington's coast called the Cascadia subduction zone. <laughs> This video of a shake table shot by researchers at PSU shows the kind of damage we can expect from a magnitude 8 Cascadia subduction zone quake. That structure is a bridge column, and you can see how quickly part of it crumbles. But soon, we'll get a warning before such a quake hits so we can get off bridges. It's called Shake Alert. Shake Alert is uh, an early warning system. The system relies on thousands of sensors, both onshore and off, to detect the quakes. How much of a warning we'll get depends on how much of the fault ruptures. If the big one happens and it breaks all the way from Northern California up to British Columbia, we will have maybe five to ten seconds uh, that we will learn about this. And all we're going to be able to do is duck, cover, and hold. But if the southern half breaks, which researchers say is a more likely scenario... If it breaks on the southern uh, part of Cascadia... We have three to five minutes uh, to get out of buildings, get out of elevators, get off of bridges if you're driving. Oregon has a shake alert system, but it is still in the testing and educational phase, available only to institutional users. But it will soon be available for all of us to download onto our phones. I've heard anything from six months to the next year um, uh, as, as the possibility uh, for this. Experts say there's a roughly 30% chance a magnitude 8 or larger earthquake will happen in our area in the next 50 years. They say any sort of warning, like a shake alert app on our phones, will save lives. In Portland, Keely Chalmers, KGW News.